Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Saturday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told a parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing or choosing the places of honor at the table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline at table in a place in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him, and the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, "Give your place to this man." and then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you were invited, go and take the lowest place, so that when the host comes to you, he may say, My friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ. This particular section, of course, is at the same place as we were yesterday in terms of the man being healed, healed by, of dropsy. He is uh, still in the home of that leading Pharisee. In fact, we use the same first verse on both yesterday's reading and today's reading. And, and can you imagine... Uh, what the scene must have been like. Again, the people there observing everything that Jesus said and did very carefully. Some were observing him out of curiosity. Some were, were observing him in order to test and trip him up and be able to discredit him. Others having a possible hope and desire to follow him. So all kinds and reasons of uh, uh, people uh, that would be there for this particular uh, event <clears throat> at the home of this leading Pharisee. Well, and uh, he's he's with these people, and he noticed that many of the people that were coming were trying to position themselves in order to be given greater prominence at this banquet. It's kind of like when you go to uh, an important dinner or something, and uh, you look at the people at the head table. Everybody wanted to be at the head table at this banquet, so they positioned themselves. <clears throat> and he used this as an opportunity for a parable that if you go to a wedding banquet and you seat yourself at a place of <clears throat> high position, that what can happen is you could actually be embarrassed when the host of the banquet comes and asks if you would come and uh, away from where you were seated and go sit at a lower place because somebody of greater prominence had been invited and really that was their place at the table. <clears throat> and this is where Jesus uh, talks about the fact that when you're invited, go and take the lower place. I have to tell you that this particular section of Scripture in Luke is one of my favorite uh, parts of Luke's Gospel, talking about the higher place and the lower place. It was <clears throat> many years ago that I uh, read a, a beautiful sermon by a Protestant theologian by the name of Francis Schaeffer. And in talking about this particular scripture, he had a sermon entitled, No Little People, No Little Places. And he talked about <clears throat> this whole principle that Jesus was, uh, was using here of being called to the higher place. <clears throat> what uh, Francis Schaeffer said in this particular homily that stuck with me was that when you go to the lower place, you're actually in a place of greater preparation. For example, <clears throat> if you were involved in a ministry or involved in something uh, in the church and you just go and serve very simply, uh, one of the things that happens is that gives you more time to just uh, focus on your relationship with the Lord rather than putting all of your activity, all of your emphasis, all of your focus on what has to be done. 
And so <clears throat> seeking the lower place is seeking a place where you can actually spend more time, <clears throat> excuse me, with Jesus, more time in your personal relationship with him than in giving yourself uh, to the task. And then he, what, uh, what uh, Schaefer went on to talk about is that when you're ready, when you've matured to the place where you can handle greater responsibility, that God will then uh, call you to the higher place. He uses a great word. He uses the word extrude you. In other words, to inject you into that higher place. You will be called up. You will be called higher. And then you will actually be in a much better place in terms of of your personal uh, maturity to handle that higher place of responsibility. So this is a great parable, not just about where you sit at a banquet, but how you posture your life. That as you seek the place of simple service, it gives you time for the Lord. And as you grow and mature in your relationship with him, he will then call you and bring you to a place of higher service. This is a great principle and one that can beautifully be um, implemented in a person's life, whether it's helping to serve at a food pantry in the, in the parish, whether it's being involved in a prayer ministry, being involved in things. Simply go and give yourself to the work. And as people see your maturity and as you grow in your relationship, they will include you and God will begin to extrude you into places of higher leadership. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, it was great to be with you again on Day by Day. And the Lord willing, we will be together again tomorrow for another edition. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.